Okay, so for this vlog, I'm going to be focusing on Audre Lorde's sheltered childhood. So, Lord grows up and she is very disconnected, um, and she is the baby of her family. She doesn't really have any close friends growing up, um, and this is mainly due to her mother's parenting style. Um, one example of her mom's odd parenting style was uh, Lord getting her period, or not knowing what her period was until she was 14 years old. And her mom took her to the doctors and was asking why she didn't have her period. Um, so on page 75, so on page 75, Lord says, Yet since she had never discussed this mysterious business of menstruation with me, I was certainly not supposed to know what all this whispering was about, even though it concerned my own body. So typically you would expect a mother to at least warn her daughter about periods, um, at least talk to her about, you know, her anatomy and stuff. You know, today you have kids at like 10 years old, they're getting the talk. So at least they're introduced to this concept of sex, they're introduced to periods, and they know what to expect, even if they haven't experienced it yet. Um, so she doesn't know about this. And so it's just very odd that her mom is sheltering her from this, even though it's inevitable that she's going to eventually at some point get her period. Um, another example of this sheltering mechanism that her mom does is um, in Lord's sixth grade class election. So her mom kind of discourages her from even running and says, you know, if you don't win, like, don't come home crying. On page 64, uh, Lord comes home from school and she's crying and she's talking about this. And her mom says, see, the bird forgets, but the trap doesn't. I warned you. What, what you think you do in coming into this house, wailing about election. If I told you once, I have told you a hundred times. Don't chase yourself behind these people, haven't I? What kind of ninny raise up here to think those good-for-nothing white piss jets would pass over some little jackabat girl to elect you anything? So, again, this is, like, her mom is kind of trying, her mom is controlling her almost, like, and this is an example of, like, when her mom can't necessarily protect her from this racism that's inevitable that she's going to experience at some point in her life. You know, Lord has grown up, and she just, she recognizes racism as an unfairness. She doesn't really know that it's because of race. She just, she has these racism, or... She experiences racism, but she just views it as unfairness. She's just ignorant to the fact that it's racism, um, and she doesn't know any better. And I just think that's very odd at this point, you know, at her age, she's in sixth grade. You'd think that this would be a wake-up call for her mother to stop sheltering her from stuff and just kind of have a talk with her about racism, but she doesn't. Um, and I don't really understand why her mom shelters her for so long. I just think it's very odd. Um, Lord never questions her mother. She has her, like, she respects her mother. She puts her up on this pedestal. You know, she's a figure of authority that she has to respect. Um, but she never asks, you know, mom, like, why didn't you tell me about my period? Like, why? She never asks any of these questions. And I just think that's very odd. Um, and when we leave off at this section in the book, you know, we see Lord, she's in high school and she's starting to have this kind of strained relationship with her mother. Um, and that kind of starts after Lord goes to the school counselor. So, you know, there's really no, like, way to look at this other than, like, these are things that are happening to her and she's just not, she's not questioning her mom at any point except for until she gets into high school. Um, so I just think it's important that for the rest of the book we really look at how these events of her mother sheltering her, like, how that affects her, like, carrying over into adulthood as she gets out of high school, um, and how it affects her view on the world, like, how her upbringing, upbringing affects her.